What's going on, everybody, man? Pay attention to this message right here. How do we walk in love and compassion towards those that have fallen away? Man, I've been there. Come on, let's talk about it. As many of you already know about this, the parable in the Bible about the shepherd who had a hundred sheep, but one of them went astray. What does the shepherd do? He leaves the 99 and he searches for the one until he finds it. This parable is not just a story, but it holds meaning and a profound message for all of us. As we go about our busy days, man, it's so easy to get caught up in our own concerns and forget about those who may be lost or in need. But the example that the shepherd teaches us, it shows us that we should never hesitate to get out of our comfort zone and to reach out to those who are lost or struggling. Just like the shepherd, Jesus himself got off the throne from heaven. He came down to earth just to seek out those that were lost and brokenhearted. He did not stay with the 99 that were righteous, but he left them to rescue the one who was lost in sin and in darkness. This selfless act of leaving the majority for the minority demonstrates the heart of God, a heart filled of love, mercy, and grace. My brothers and my sisters, man, we may not have straight away physically like the sheep, but we all have found ourselves at some point in our life where we strayed away from the path of righteousness. We have all been lost in our own way, lost in doubt, lost in fear, guilt, sin, and even the busyness of life. But the good news is that Jesus still comes searching for us, his lost sheep. He never gives up on us, no matter how far we have strayed away. So I urge you today, reflect on this parable for yourself and ask yourself, am I the 99 or am I the lost one? If you are the 99, I encourage you to be like the shepherd and have a heart for the one who is lost, the one who is strayed away. Reach out to them. Don't give up on them. Keep praying with them. Fight with them. Amen. I love you guys, and I pray that this word touched somebody today and that you would be the hands and feet of the Lord, of the kingdom of heaven, and we would go out even for our own children, not just fight for them, but fight alongside them. Amen. I love you guys. God bless.